The bitter cold and high wind chills are sending more people to the emergency room. KU Hospital is treating at least two adults for a severe frostbite. KBC 9's Brian Johnson is live at the hospital where they are testing a new treatment. Brian. Yeah, there is a saying among doctors frostbite in January, amputation in July, but they are using it less. That's because a new treatment is changing the way frozen tissue gets healed. Feeling today. Still feeling okay? It was after okay. a bitter cold Good. night and too much to drink that Robert Atkins realized something was wrong. Nothing. I couldn't feel my right foot at all, period. Adkins is homeless. The holidays are particularly uh, yeah. hard for him because it's when he lost both yeah. of his parents. I don't think I will. You can yeah. see the black from the frostbite on his fingers. His foot was badly damaged. They told me uh, it's a very distinct possibility that, you know, I might lose a foot. But a new treatment means he might not lose anything. Something called TPA, which is a clot busting drug, right down to the blood vessels that are blocked as a result of these frostbite injuries. The drug is normally used for stroke patients. They're getting better. In this case, the drug breaks up clots formed by cold blood vessels, quickly restoring the blood flow and saving the tissue. Looking to see whether the blood vessels have opened up. So far, Adkins' progress is excellent. These people are angels around right here, man. They really are, you know? And, uh, and that's, that's how it should be. His medical team says the prognosis yeah. is good. And with these treatments, we can very often, it can be the difference between losing some toes and losing your whole leg. Now, if you have gotten frost, but maybe a little bit on your cheeks or your nose, and you're going to be heading out a second time, doctors say be careful because it is cumulative. It will be much easier to get a more severe burn the second time. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. KU is one of only a handful of hospitals currently using the frostbite recovery technique.